Hey guys, it's Misha and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about how the woke mob is attempting to cancel Christmas. They already tried to do this with Thanksgiving, which I will probably talk about at the end of the video. I'm learning the lessons of how pilgrims broke bread with Native Americans, knowing how dumb and wrong that is. We know the truth now. Do we scrap the holiday altogether? So yeah, if you thought that they would stop at Thanksgiving, you're wrong. I think eventually it'll be every holiday that they try to cancel for being racist, for being homophobic, for being sexist. And I was wondering why, and then I remembered that in school, everyone gets like awarded if they come up with these insane ideas about how X, Y, and Z, it's actually racist and you're a bigot if you celebrate these holidays. It's not based in reality at all, but they make it up and they get applauded every single time, teachers and students alike. But first, let's take a look at some positives. I don't know if you've seen this show that came out last year. I believe it's on HBO Max. It's about uh, progressive Santa. More American kids believe in you than they do in vaccines or the Holocaust. That's great. I mean, disheartening for America, but great for us. The position of Santa has mostly been a white man's game. Exactly. It's crazy things have got to change santa and the board are all male and all white and i think it's very relatable i mean it really highlights the jealousy that we as women feel because we cannot be santa you know so can you please tell me why santa claus is still a straight white cis male disgusting it's about time we get the female black santa that we've all been waiting for and that's why these woke movies always do so well and we can't forget about christmas music there are a bunch of christmas classics like jingle bells i think is racist a baby it's cold outside it was actually about you know the woman getting drugged so the songs are canceled the movies are getting canceled what else can you cancel christmas christmas itself the woke people think that saying merry christmas is racist even with stereotypical christmas decorations now it's uh, the language has shifted to uh, holiday decorations, winter decorations, Christmas trees or like holiday trees. Why? It's obviously for Christmas. As if Christmas isn't a holiday that brings people together. And this is what's so annoying about it. They take all of the amazing holidays that we have that encourage unity um, and spending time with your family and friends and ruin it and try to say that this is dividing us when they are the ones who are constantly dividing us. And another funny thing is that these woke people won't hesitate to, you know, include their woke ideology in movies, into songs, into TV shows. But when anyone on the right does it, they're canceled immediately. With the COVID thing, it's like, oh, after all these people got, you know, fired for not getting the vaccine, all of a sudden, it's like it never happened. Abortion, Christmas trees, everything. It has to be political for them. And oddly enough, it's always Christianity that they're targeting. They're making fun of these Christmas traditions, um, or they're making videos about how Jesus was trans, or Jesus was non-binary. Transphobic Christians gone? Okay. Jesus was trans. Had only female chromosomes, and presented as masculine, so Jesus was non-binary. With people on the right, who make any sort of political or social commentary in Christmas movies. We saw this with Tim Allen. He got canceled, or <laughs> they're trying to cancel him, because he made a joke in one of his like Santa series where he's saying that it's so uh, difficult to say Merry Christmas to people now because that's considered offensive, which is true. This is happening. People think it's offensive now to say Merry Christmas. And apparently that makes him a white supremacist. And that's so weird because the woke mob claims to be so accepting of people with different opinions. Where is that acceptance? Tweeting away and showing their true colors, how accepting they are, right? Full of love and compassion for people with all sorts of different beliefs. So yeah, there are a lot of people who think that saying Merry Christmas is offensive. Instead, you should say Happy Holidays, no more Christmas vacation, now it should be winter vacation, things like that so that we can all be inclusive. Now, here's the thing. I don't even celebrate Christmas, right? But if someone says, hey, Merry Christmas, I'm not going to start something with them. I'm going to say, yeah, Merry Christmas to you as well. I know a lot of Americans do. I think it's an amazing holiday. So if someone wishes me a Merry Christmas, I'm not going to say, oh my God, I don't celebrate it. I'm going to have a panic attack now. How dare you say that to me? No. Of course, context matters. Like if you have a friend who continuously tells you I don't celebrate Christmas and you always say Merry Christmas, okay, that's one thing. But most people are not trying to convert other people when they say Merry Christmas. They're just wishing you a Merry Christmas. They want to share the joy that they feel when they celebrate their holiday. That's it. So in my opinion, say Merry Christmas and to those who don't celebrate it, Happy Holidays. And that's that. But these people are claiming that the holiday greeting, Merry Christmas, is offensive and we shouldn't say it anymore. That's crazy. It's not offensive. These people don't even know what to come up with at this point and what to be offended by. It's so unfortunate that the left wants to ruin all these holidays, like Christmas and then of course Thanksgiving, 
because we really need these holidays. They encourage unity. They encourage us to sit down with our family and friends despite our differences, and the left wants to cancel it. Instead of bringing stuffing and biscuits, those settlers brought genocide and violence. That genocide and violence is still on the menu as state-sponsored violence against Native and Black Americans is commonplace and violent private white supremacy is celebrated and subsidized. And with Thanksgiving, I mean, Thanksgiving is easily one of my favorite holidays. I think it's great to be, you know, mindful and grateful for everything that you have um, and, of course, spend time with your family and friends. But the thing is that a lot of college students especially think it is somehow celebrating the genocide of Native Americans. Take a look at this video I found. Thanksgiving is an offensive holiday, yes. yes. It celebrates like colonizer like yeah. holidays. It's a holiday that's commemorating the genocide of Native people. She said it's all about killing Native Americans. So once again, the American education system is failing to educate people. I guess these college professors are not teaching students the history of Thanksgiving. I think Thanksgiving probably doesn't really celebrate one specific instance, but more an idea of like a whole like time span. It actually celebrates a three-day feast. But basically, after the pilgrims arrived to Plymouth and they had this very difficult winter, like half the colony died, and then the Native Americans started to help them out. They had their first like successful harvest where they sat down for three days with the Native American people. So there was like historical documentation of this. We were grateful for the harvest and Sarah Hale wanted to make this into a national holiday which um, Abraham Lincoln later did just that in 1863, and that's Thanksgiving. So why do these people think that translates to, let's ignore everything that happened to the Native American people, um, and this if we celebrate Thanksgiving, we are white supremacists. White people are continually creating this environment where minorities cannot thrive and cannot flourish, and it's just unfair. And you're sitting here on a college campus saying minorities cannot thrive or flourish because of white people. Every single class that I started in university, you had to have a land acknowledgement, okay? Land acknowledgement and this white liberal teacher wanted to educate you on why you should feel guilty if you are not a Native American person because you're on stolen land. But then they never leave. These white liberal teachers, they never leave. They stay. Why? If you feel so guilty for being here, why are you still here? What's your grand plan to help out the Native American people? And I'll tell you what it is. They're too busy tearing down statues and canceling Whoever, I guess Christopher Columbus, they already got onto the next one, but they're too busy doing that to actually pick up a history book and learn about what we're celebrating. At the same time though, can I blame them because they're being taught by these woke professors. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy your Thanksgiving, even if the cost of Thanksgiving dinner was up by 20%. Thank you, Biden. And I hope you're getting ready for Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate and not letting the woke mob ruin it for you, even though they love to do that. I guess it's because it's a tradition. They really don't like American traditions for some reason. But as I've said, I think that these holidays are so important, especially when there's so much division in our country. And that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you will hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.